As you lay down on your back, please bend your knees, put your feet flat on your mat. You can allow the knees come towards each other and let the palms be open skyward. So you might want to take a nice deep breath in, lift the chest up and then snuggle your shoulder blades down your back. So you're kind of creating a little nest for your lungs to be able to just roll the shoulders back. And then as we normally do, just kind of check in with your heart. Notice the sensations today. Notice the mood. Notice how you're feeling. The language of the heart is feeling. So notice how you're feeling today. And see if you can find a sense of acceptance. So whatever emotions are dominant right now, just allow them to be what it is. Try not to push it away or change it in any way. And then bring your right hand to your belly, left hand on your heart. Take a nice deep breath in, feel your belly expand. And then continue your inhalation until you feel the chest expand. And then empty the belly and empty the chest. And the breath doesn't need to be a full, complete breath, but I really want you to get that sense of the belly expanding each time you breathe. And then you can continue on your breath as if you're sipping in more air and you feel the chest expanding. And then you empty the belly and empty the chest. Continue on on your own rhythm for a few more moments. So nice inhales. See if you can really pay close attention to the full cycle of the breath. Notice your inhalation as you begin and then notice the full cycle the arc of your inhalation at the top of your inhalation and then allow that to go all the way through its full cycle and you begin to notice the exhalation and then go all the way to the bottom of the exhalation and then to the end of exhalation just follow the breath I'm going to add one more component to this uh, breath. So continue to inhale, feel the breath, but, uh, belly expand. Continue your breath, feel the chest expand. And then can you continue that breath and you feel the collarbones expand. And as you expand the collarbones, feel a lengthening in the back of your neck. And then as you exhale, empty the belly, empty the chest. And as you empty the collarbones, feel as if the chin can come slightly towards your chest. So really, really subtle, but really just notice, become like a scientist, looking and observing your breath, inhaling. Continue your inhale, feel your chest expand. Continue your inhale, feel the collarbones expand. Feel the lengthening of the neck. And exhale, empty the belly, empty the chest, and empty the collarbones. And do this one last time, really nice and easy. And then as you're ready, just gently roll over to the right side, please. And as you come to the right side, you're going to press yourself halfway up. Press your hands down so you're on the right side of your thigh. Inhale, lift the chest. And then exhale, just bring your elbows down towards the floor. If this is good enough and it feels just gentle twist on your spine, you can stay here. Some of you may be able to stack your hands and bring your forehead down onto the floor but make sure it feels good on your spine so if you go here and you feel like oh that's a little too edgy yet for my spine just come up on your elbows and if you are on your elbows drop the head down so your upper body is in sphinx pose your lower body is a twist and if you're on your uh, if your forehead is resting on your fingertips, your upper body is in crocodile pose and your lower body is twisted. 
And then imagine the hand of someone you love in between your shoulder blades. Can you send your breath to that space in between the shoulder blades? Just as you had your own hand on your belly and your chest, now imagine that hand behind your heart in your, between the shoulder blades and breathe into the heart. Allow the thoracic spine, the upper back to expand with each inhalation. And as you exhale, can you allow the armpits to melt down towards your mat? And do this a couple more times. Inhale, breathe into your upper back. Exhale, let the shoulders soften away from the ears. One more time, inhale. And exhale, side up and open mouth, let it go. And if you're in crocodiles, just go ahead and come on up to Sphinx pose. So everybody's coming up to your elbows. And then uh, go ahead and get up. And you're just going to turn to the other side. So I'm going to turn around this way so you can see me a little bit better. But basically, you're on the left side. And initially, place your hands down. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, begin to bring your elbows down on the floor. And as you know, we like to go phase by phase. So you go here first, and then you see if you want to go a little bit deeper, maybe you can bring your hands and stack your fingertips on top of one another, and then bring your forehead down. And as usual, we don't really want to go right to the edge right away. So if this feels a little bit edgy, just come back up on the Sphinx pose and stay here for a minute or so, and then we can take it all the way down. And again, notice that space between the shoulder blades behind your heart. Can you really send your breath right there? And then with each exhalation, can you soften the hips? Allow the inhale exhalations soften all the muscles that we're usually not even aware of holding. Maybe the jaws can soften a little bit. Maybe the neck can soften a little bit. And breathe deeply. Send your breath to that space between the shoulder blades. Inhale. And as you exhale, can you let the knees soften? Your ankles, your toes. See if you can take all the tension, releasing the tension. Sometimes it's not really easy to find out how to relax and we have to just do it body part by body part consciously allowing the body part to release and then once you begin to release you begin to find more sensation become more sensate to the actual feelings of the body so maybe noticing the pulsation in our heart noticing the sensation of the breath flowing becoming more nuanced than noticing all the little nuances of our physical body As you inhale, one more deep breath in. 
Exhale, can you find yourself relaxing just a little bit more? And then gently go ahead and press yourself up. And we're going to set up for child's pose. So I'm going to invite you to do however it feels good for you to come into this child's pose. You can, if you have a bolster or blankets or blocks, you can make it an easy child's pose. Separate your knees wide apart from each other. Your big toes are touching. Put the bolster or pillows right in between your legs and you can come all the way down. If you don't need the bolster, and, and many of you don't, then you just don't need it, but you can stack your hands and rest your forehead on top of your stacked hands. And then now, as you breathe in, can you send your breath all the way down, imagining a warm oil pouring all the way from the base of your neck, the base of your skull, down to between the shoulder blades, down to your mid back, and down to your low back. And then with each exhalation, with that warm oil, imagine and feel your hips spreading out, softening. Releasing any tension you may be holding in your low back. And if you are feeling a lot of tension, you can come up a little bit higher because we are going to stay here for a couple minutes. So I want you to really feel a sense of allowing yourself to relax. Let your tail lengthen down towards your heels. So the intention of our class really here is to tap into the central nervous system to allow our hip, uh, you know, it's not bad to be in sympathetic nervous system. We obviously need it. And we also need the parasympathetic nervous system to come online. So the ability to find harmony and balance and tap into both when we need to gives us the um, sort of power to um, regulate our nervous system. So as you rest here, resting your forehead down on your hands or on the floor, on your bolster, allowing the third eye to rest on something. Can you begin to visualize your happy place? For some of you, maybe the beach, some of you, maybe the uh, mountains, some of you, maybe your room or a special room in your house. You just begin to see yourself in that space. And at the same time, allowing whatever comes to that space. So the soundscapes, if you're in the ocean, sound of the ocean. If you're in the mountains, maybe sound of the birds or the wind. If you can actually visualize that and put yourself right there in that space. Our human imagination is really powerful. A couple more deep breaths in. Exhale it out. And then gently, let's begin to move a little bit. So come up to tabletop pose, please. Nice and slowly. Keep the peace you've created. We're just going to move the spine a little bit. We're going to go into a cat cow pose, lifting the chest up, sending the tailbone up. And exhale, easy cat pose. It doesn't have to be really, really deep. 
Some of you may be able to like just go side to side or maybe you like to circle the hips. So move as your body organically is asking you to do. Whether it's cat cows, normal cat cows or side to side wagging your tail like a happy dog. Or maybe you like to just circle the hips one direction and circle the hips the other direction. And wherever you are, drop the head down, shake the head side to side. You can nod yes and no, making sure you're not holding on to any tension. And then you're just going to take a big step forward with your right foot, please. And bring, if you're using a block, bring your block with you. So put the block on the inside of that right foot. Hands on top of the block. Inhale, lift the chest up as you send your hip down, melt the hip down towards the floor and exhale. Take your hips all the way back to your left heel and maybe flex the right toes. And then do that again, inhaling, come into your low lunge, let the chest lift, drop the hips down, exhale, take it back into your half split, flex the right foot. And once again, inhale. So really good for the lubrication of that right hip and maybe even lift hip flexor and move it back and again inhale and exhale good and then this time as you come into your low lunge pause here for a moment let the hips drop i'm going to give you a couple of different options here so you can stay here with your hands on your block if you like to, you can see if you want to bring your elbows down on the block. See if that's available to you. And if it's not, if you feel like too much compression in that right knee, please come out. We're just here to ease into the body. You want to make sure that the poses feel good. You're not forcing yourself to do anything, forcing your body to get into any postures. In fact, our yin practice is more about getting into the poses to get into the body, not the other way around. So make sure that the pose feels good, that you're, if you need to put a blanket under that left knee, support that left knee however you need to. And then drop the head down. Let the back of your neck get long. You can close your eyes or just have a soft gaze. We're not going to stay here as long, so just breathe into that right hip, left hip flexor, wherever you're feeling it. And from here, gently come on back up on your hands again. Take your right hand to the outside of the right knee and a gentle twist over to the right. Again, it doesn't have to be your deepest twist, but I do want you to really pay careful attention to that left hip flexor. So notice if you need to back off a little bit, maybe you need to take your hips back. Maybe if you're really, really flexible, you can allow that hip to soften towards the earth, but make sure you have engaged your core so you're not just dumping to your low back. Most of the twist is happening in the upper back, in your thoracic spine. So if you feel it too much in the lumbar spine, just uh, untwist a little bit and keep the hips pointing down towards the floor as you twist in your upper back. And then nice and slowly come back to the center once again. And again, do whatever feels good on that left hip, right? So you can take that left leg out, you can circle that left leg one direction, or if you want to, you can just shake the leg, sometimes shaking the muscle really helps relax. And maybe you like to rotate the ankles and flex and point the toes. And then as you're ready, just draw that left knee to your chest and step the left foot in between your hands. Bring the block with you again if you're using it. Initially, hands on your block. 
Make sure that you're not on top of your patella, the kneecap on the right side, that you're more on the, on the uh, upper portion of the patella. So you don't wanna be cracking the patella <laughs> or the kneecap. And again, if you need to put a blanket under it, please feel free to do that. You can stay here in this nice supported lunge, desert lunge, or you can see if you wanna come down on your elbows, but if you go there and you feel like, oh, I don't know if I can hold it here for two minutes, just come back up. There is no competition here. And then drop the head down. And again, just take your awareness to the tension you're feeling, whatever that is. So many of the times we wanna run away from that tension. Can you instead lean into it? Notice if it's the left hip, can you send your breath to that space? If it's the right hip flexor, can you send a smile to the right hip flexor? If it's the back of the neck, can you just let the head hang and almost like speak to that body part and let them know that it's a safe environment that they can release, giving each body part permission to relax. And then follow your breath. breath is actually the best tool to regulate the nervous system. If at any point you feel a sense of anxiety or any uncertainty about anything, you could just check in with your breath. Deep breath in, inhale. And then gently press yourself up. Take your right hand on top of your block if you need to, or you can be on the floor. And then just take your left hand to the outside of that left knee as you twist your torso to the left. Again, remember, it's not about how deep you go. I want you to really feel the sensation in the spine. So, even if you're not going that deep, can you lengthen your spine and then twist to the left? Really most of the twist is happening in the upper back, in the thoracic spine. And notice if the shoulders are creeping up to the ear. Can you soften the shoulders down your back? Your gaze can be wherever it feels good. If you look up, it's a little more energizing. If you look down, it's a little more relaxing. So. Remember, this is your practice and we're just moving through these postures to allow the body to release tension. step that left knee back please come back to tabletop pose again whatever feels good maybe you like to go to downward facing dog this time see if that's that makes your body feel good bending one knee and straightening the other knee maybe you like to just extend that right leg back and then shake that leg out or rotate the femur bone in the hip socket Maybe you like to come into child's pose. Whatever feels good, just move organically. Get some blood flowing. And then as you really walk your hands all the way to your knees, and we're gonna come into butterfly pose. 
So bring the soles of your feet together, please. And for this one, I really suggest using a block and don't make it a tight butterfly. So have your heels a little bit farther away from your groin. This is going to be more of a diamond shape butterfly. Your um, hands can go on top of your block. The block is going to be between your legs. You can stay here for a moment. Inhale, lift the chest and then exhale, begin to fold forward. Now I notice, notice that I usually ask you to let, uh, come forward hinging from the hips. This time though, if you like to round your back and if it feels good on your spine, you can certainly do that. And then see where that block fits for you. Some, sometimes it feels good to have the block on top of your feet and just rest your forehead on top of the block. Or you can have it between your legs and just bring your elbows on top of the block. It's really different for everyone where your body is, how it's feeling right now. So kind of experiment with all of those options, see what works. And we're gonna stay here for three minutes. So get really nice and comfortable. Bring the forehead down wherever it is, maybe on the block, maybe you're just hanging the head. And then just kind of scan the body again. Check in, make sure the shoulders are staying soft. Make sure you're not squeezing the hips in any way. Open and close your jaws to make sure there's no tension in your jaws. And then you might even want to take a swallow, make sure you're not holding on to any tension in the throat. These forward folds are such a beautiful poses to um, release and let go. So that could mean release and letting go of anything that doesn't serve you. It could be contraction in the body, it could be thoughts, it could be anything that you feel is not serving you at this moment. One more minute here, so just rest for one more minute, please. Take a nice deep breath in, send your breath all the way down to your tailbone and exhale, slide out of an open mouth. One more time, inhale through the nose. Feel and sense your breath all the way down to your low back and slide out of an open mouth. And this time, as you inhale, send your breath all the way to your heart. And sigh it out of an open mouth. And then now, slowly begin to roll up. One vertebrae at a time. Don't rush. Come on all the way up, please. And then we're gonna come into Sphinx pose. So take your legs all the way back behind you. Come to your belly, please. Bring your block with you if you're using one. And separate your feet wide apart from each other and shake your hips side to side. Make sure that your hips are soft. You can place your hands down flat on your mat. Elbows are pressing down and your um, 
forearms that are on train track. So make sure that they're not way out here, away from each other. Bring them close or parallel to each other. Usually if you have a block, it's, it's good too because it just kind of allows you to line them up correctly. And then you can place the block on its longest, um, tallest height and bring the forehead down on the block. So you can let the forehead rest on top of your block. Or if that doesn't feel good, just let the head rest, just let the head drop. Or if you want a little bit more energizing, you can lift the head up. So your choice. But now we're in this back bend, and back bends are poses of self-acceptance, self-forgiveness, so now that you have released what doesn't serve you, you can begin to accept yourself exactly as you are in this moment, without any expectations, without any sense of should, without any, uh, any sense of could have done it, should have done it, would have done it. Just knowing that what, wherever you are right now is where you stop. Wherever we are, that's where we stop. And sometimes it takes releasing and letting go to be able to self-accept, self-realize, and maybe even eventually transcend this beyond it. in a form of self-love. And perhaps you can experiment with this, maybe in your mind's eye. You can repeat to yourself, I love and accept myself exactly as I am. And if that is too far, if it's a little difficult to say that, maybe you can even say, I am willing to accept myself exactly as I am. Just the act of being willing gets you one more closer to self-love. And if you already feel transcended beyond that, maybe you can begin to say, I am love. Or maybe you can just say, I am. With each exhalation, quietly in your mind, you can repeat, I am. separate your arms wide apart from each other to the top of your mat. Gently as you begin to re uh, tell to yourself, I am, begin to lift your torso up into seal pose. And repeat, I am. and slowly press yourself back. Take your time here. We've been in this back bend quite a bit of a long time. So begin to bring your hips back uh, to child's pose. If child pose is a little too tense, you can stay on your hands a little bit. Let your back soften. And then go ahead and press yourself all the way back up, please. Have a seat. Extend your right leg forward, 
Bend your left knee out to the left. Bring that left foot on the inside of the right knee. Take your hands to your rib cage and turn your torso towards the right. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale. Begin to reach towards your right heel. And then again, inhale, lift the chest and exhale and gently reach down towards the toes. If you can't touch your toes, that's okay. No need to worry. Inhale, just be at peace with that. And exhale, we're just kind of moving and neutralizing the spine. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale and reach. And you can keep that right knee bent a little bit. Flex the right knee, that will protect your low back. And one last time, inhale, lift the chest and exhale. This time, as you fold forward, you can, wherever your hands land, just keep them right there. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, let's take it into Janusir Shasana, bringing the forehead down. Now again, here you can put, rest your forehead on top of your block. So my forehead is going on, to, or my block is going on top of my shin, and I'm resting my forehead there. We're not staying here that long, just 30 seconds. So close your eyes wherever you are, drop the head down. Shoulders are soft. That right knee is slightly bent. Pay attention to that left QL muscle in the left low back. Breathe into that sun. And then nice and slowly begin to come on up. And take both legs in front, extend both legs out. Put your hands flat, bend your knees. And you're just going to windshield wiper your knees side to side. So drop them over to the left and to the right and left and right. So you're kind of massaging the hips. And then next time your knees are over to the center, pause there, extend the left leg straight. Take that right knee out to the right. If you use the block on the other side, bring the block with you. Take your hands to your rib cage and turn your sternum towards that left knee. Reach the arms forward, inhale and exhale, begin to fold towards the left knee. And then come back up, inhale. And exhale and reach forward, inhale. And exhale and reach. You may notice that each time you can reach a little bit longer, but you're not forcing anything. You're, it's almost like you're knocking on the door and your body is really letting you in. So ask for permission from your body. Can I go a little bit deeper maybe? And then last one. And then wherever your hands land, just rest there. Maybe your forehead or your head drops. Maybe you wanna put your forehead on top of the block, on top of your shin. And just 30 seconds. And then super easy, come back up please. Put your feet flat on the floor again. Come all the way down on your back, just like we started at the beginning of the class. Bring your knees together. Hug your knees in. Rock a little bit side to side. Give some TLC to your low back. And then we're going to do a nice little twist. So as you're ready, I, I suggest that you take your block and put it in between your knees and then drop your knees over to the left. This is going to keep your hips neutral as you're twisting your back. So your right arm can reach overhead or just arms out to the side like wings or cactus. If you like to get a little bit of a stretch in your cervical spine and your neck, you can turn your head to the right. Just close your eyes now and then let your breath be completely natural. So there's no need to control the breath. 
Just let that right side stretch out. This is where your liver lives. So send a smile to your liver. Let it know that you appreciate all the hard work she or he does to keep you detoxed and clean. And healthy. And then gently be, uh, begin to bring everything back to the center. Pause here for a moment and then drop the knees over to the right. As you let the knees come down, just let that left side open, the left lung, the left intercostal muscles between the ribs. Your gaze can go to the left if it feels good on your neck. And then breathe into the spleen. Your liver and spleen work hard together to keep you well and functioning well. Your spleen reserves all the blood it needs and it releases it when your body needs it. Come back to the center once again. Put your block to the side, draw the knees to your chest. And then just send a big thank you to all your internal organs, your heart, liver, spleen, gallbladder, kidneys, even if you don't have a gallbladder. You just send a nice little thank you to everything, your colon, uh, reproductive organs, all your organs work well together to keep you upright and energized and moving through your life. And as you're ready, extend your legs out and come into your final pose, Shavasana. So I suggest if you happen to have a blanket, you can roll up the blanket, put it on your knees, under your knees. If you want to put a bolster or anything under your knees, feel free. If you want to put it under your head as a pillow, feel free. But close your eyes, let the palms be open. Take a nice deep breath in, sigh it out. And then just check in with your heart again. Notice a shift. Notice if you feel even 1% more relaxed. Just offer gratitude for your breath and this breath. And then offer gratitude for this moment. And then give yourself gratitude for showing up on your mat, for taking care of yourself. Just the act that you are here, just the fact that you made it today shows your conviction and dedication to yourself. What a beautiful gift to be able to give to yourself. If you have more time and you would like to stay in your Shavasana, please feel free to do that. I invite you to stay as long as you like to. And if you're ready to continue on with the rest of your day and weekend, please gently begin to deepen your breath. Draw one knee to your chest and then the other knee to your chest. Notice which nostril you're breathing out of a little bit easier. Roll over to that side. Pause for a moment. And when you're strengthening your top arm, press yourself to a comfortable seat, please. As you do, bring your left hand on your heart, right hand on top of your left hand, and bow down to yourself, giving yourself all the love you need. I bow down to all of you. Thank you so much, as always, trying to allow me to guide you through your practice. Namaste.